hello friends and fashion lovers welcome and welcome back thank you for clicking on this video in this tutorial i'll show you how to make this lovely maxi flare dress with ruffle trimming for this tutorial i'm using four yards of african print a button and a less fabric so i also have my basic bodice a link to how to draft one will be in the description box my basic bodice stopped at about the bust area it doesn't get to the west because that's basically what i need so i'm going to go ahead and adjust the neck lines for my back neck i want to have a width of 3.5 inches by 1.5 inch depth so i haven't done that i'm going to go ahead and connect my new neckline next i'm going to go ahead and also adjust my front neckline so i'm using the same neck width as the back which is 3.5 inches and this includes my seaming allowance which will finish up at about 4 inches width and the depth i want is three and a half inches so i'm going to go ahead and connect my new neckline as well so now where my less will be or the yoke you can mark at least two inches from the chest line or you can check where your bust starts to determine this part you can as well measure from your neckline how low would your neckline be so like the lowest point of your neckline before your bust starts showing you can mark that so when it comes to the ham hole area you could measure your whole ham hole and decide to mark the midpoint so you can measure your ham hole curve and mark the midpoint or you can use the midpoint of your ham hole line it really doesn't matter you can keep it stretched from the neckline so it really doesn't matter so do well to connect this point to form your yoke so basically the upper part will be the yoke now and please note that the front will be cut on fold now to the back you can decide to do whatever neck design you like for this back you can make it low or you can just repeat the same thing for the back it's really up to you as the designer you can play around with this and make some nice fun design out of it so this is just the basic that I'm giving note that you can either cut this back on fold or you can add a zipper allowance to it but just make sure that whatever you do you put into consideration that you'll be able to get in and out of this garment so my back and front is going to be on fold but the yoke path that i will include an opening to enable me get in and out of my dress so i'm just basically cutting out my pattern at this point so note that you're going to be adding seaming allowance because you're stitching your yoke to your bodice once more so I haven't talked about the seaming allowance to be added I'm just going to gum this back so here I'm going to place my fabric on bias yes this is just my fabric straight and I'm placing it on bias so as for the length of your fabric you're going to be your desired dress length plus a couple of inches and you're cutting this two times for both the front and the back of the dress so I'm just going to pin my fabric to secure it in place so now I'm going to place my pattern on it so when you place your pattern you want to keep measuring and make sure that you have your desired dress length plus hemming allowance so you're going to start from that upper part that you have your shoulder and make sure that you have your desired dress length clause hemming allowance so like mine I adjusted my pattern a couple of times don't forget that you're cutting out the yoke part so when you're satisfied with the length you've got pin your pattern to your fabric remember that 
you are going to need some form of seaming allowance by the side if your pattern had seaming allowance good and fine mine didn't have seaming allowance it means i'll be marking out my seaming allowance so starting from the up there i'm going to mark my desired dress length plus my hemming allowance i'm just going to mark that out my pattern did not have seaming allowance so i'm just adding seaming allowance next is for me to come down about three inches from that ham hole line uh, this part is totally optional i just wanted it to be slightly fitted up there down, and so i'm going to connect it to the hem of my dress so you want to make sure that your ruler is as straight as it can be so one ruler wasn't enough for me because my rulers are short so i decided to use two rulers so make sure that from the flare parts on the hem of your dress you take it straight all the way to the upper part so just make sure that up there is not too sharp try as much as possible to blend it out now it's time to add your necessary seaming allowance knowing that you are stitching this dress back to the yoke so do well to add a seaming allowance right there i used half an inch because that is what i'll be using to stitch it back to the less yoke so with all the seaming allowance added that my pattern didn't include i am going to go ahead and cut out so this is it cut out nice so i'm going to follow the same steps and cut for the back so the steps are pretty much the same you lay your pattern at your necessary seaming allowance if your pattern did not include one and you do well to connect it and you cut it For my yoke, I'm just going to add the necessary seaming allowance as well and cut it out. Please, I'm cutting my yoke on fold and the back I will slit to give an opening of about 5 inches to enable my head to pass through the dress. Back to the dress, I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's placed on each other. My dress is still on fold and I'm going to mark out where my pocket will sit. So from the ham hole, you want to do well to measure between 8 to 9.5 inches. So depending on how high or low you would like sticking your hand into your pocket. So mark that out, is that 8 inches or 9 inches or thereabouts. Just mark that and give it a notch because we are going to be adding a pocket to this dress. Now it's time to cut out this pocket. So using my leftover fabric, I'm just indicating the wrong side. And I'm going to go ahead and mark 8 inches, you can do 7 inches. I just love the opening to include the seaming allowance as well. After that, I'm just going to place my hand and follow my hand curve. Come up with something and that would basically be my pocket. And it's time to meet all the pieces. Right here, I have my dress, both the back and the front. I have my yoke for the back and the front I slit my back yoke then I also have my pocket four pieces then the ruffle which I'll talk about it later and my sleeve so I'll just quickly put that away so right here I'm going to start the stitching so I'm starting with my pocket so you want to place your pocket at that notch point right side facing now do well to go ahead and pin it in place and you're doing this for all the four pockets which when stitched it will be two pockets on the side so when you're done pinning do well to take it to your sewing machine and stitch in place so 
so just stitch the pockets in place so after stitching my pockets I even top stitched it now it's time to work on the yoke and place it wrong side facing I know it doesn't sound right placing it wrong side facing but trust me that so you want to note the center of your yoke and you place it wrong side facing that means the wrong side of your dress should be facing the wrong side of your yoke meaning that the stitches will be on the right side so go ahead and pin this in place so when you're done pinning make sure once again that it's wrong side facing the stitching will appear on the right side so you are going to take to your sewing machine and stitch in place and you are repeating the same step for the back yoke so now after stitching both the front and the back yoke and the raw stitches are appearing at the right side you are going to use your tape and measure around so you want to understand that you have about half inch seaming allowance to join the shoulder you're going to bear that in mind and you're going to measure around there you so want to do well to also measure the back as well so not the measurement for the front and the measurement for the back especially if you have different yoke designs now you want to multiply this measurement by 2 or 2.5 or 3 in my own case i multiplied it by 2.5 and that will be the amount of fabric you cut for your ruffle if you want it really full multiply it by 3 but mine was 2.5 the width of the ruffle is 5 inches and this includes seaming allowance is going to finish up for like about 3.5 or 4 inches so do well to roll hem your ruffle then you go ahead and gather it or you pleat it to your yoke now you are going to place this ruffle right side facing when you are stitching it to your yoke meaning that the raw edges or the rough parts will be sandwiched in between the chest area so this is how it looks so this is my raw edge sandwiched in between my ruffle you are going to be joining your dress at the shoulder so place it right side facing and you're going to be joining the ruffles too so i decided to do a french seam for my ruffle and also i didn't complete the hemming of my ruffle so after stitching i'm going to complete that hemming right there so that everything can be uniform so once again place it right side facing you're going to be stitching the ruffle and also the shoulder of the dress so if you had left a little bit of seaming allowance it's going to be very helpful so go ahead and stitch that and i'm going to be using a bias step to finish the neck of my dress so after i've finished the neck of my dress with a bias step and even added a button to the back opening this is what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and overlock that raw edge you can use a zigzag stitch you can even use a bias right there so depending on what you want to do and you can also top stitch the ruffle to conceal that raw edge see you can top stitch your ruffle right there so what i'm going to do right now is to add sleeve to my dress yes i'm going to add sleeve to my dress so this is how it looks on the wrong side once after adding the sleeve i'm going to stitch the side of my dress and after joining the side of my dress i am going to hem the bottom of my dress then i'll show you the finished result here is the finished dress if you've watched up to this point i want to say thank you and if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for 
please subscribe to the channel thank you and see you in the next tutorial bye for now